like spinning. He's like spinning like a like 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 Okay, what about uh, what about sound? What form of energy is sound? Mechanical. mechanical. Why is it mechanical energy? It moves in waves. Okay, and what what normally is our medium for conducting sound? Well, your ear, air. Okay, very good. Yeah, air. Mechanical energy. So you physically could have felt that. So when there's an explosion, anything like that, you guys, that was a really tiny one. You may have actually felt that. If you buy gasoline at Speedway, it's 90% it's gasoline, 10% ethanol. This is about the same idea. And ethanol is okay as a motor fuel. It's not great. You could see that it... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You can hopefully see that it burns. There we go. If you remember when we were at Rice State, you remember when they had the uh, thing with the towel that would burn and then you like put it out and the towel wasn't destroyed? Th this is what he used. Kill it with fire. And, and what's cool about it, what do you not notice from this flame? Smoke. There's not a lot of smoke, is there? This is considered to be a relatively clean burning fuel, kind of like methane gas, if you ever, or natural gas, things like that. Like your furnace, when your furnace burns, you should not see all this smoke coming out of your furnace. That's bad, all right? It should be relatively clean. It is hot. It's not as hot as if I were burning something else, so like gasoline. It, it, the same amount of gasoline in this bottle has a, has a lot more potential energy than this. The form of energy is called biomass. Sort of flex fuel. Okay, flex fuel. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. What, what do you think biomass is? Look, look at the words that are in biomass. Or this, uh, bio means matter. Okay, yeah. So biomass is going to be stuff that is, you can go and you can collect the used cooking oil, and then you can clean it up, you can filter it, and then you can use it as a fuel. So a lot of countries and, and places, they would use oil for a lamp. Now what I have here, I just used uh, this canola, canola vegetable oil. You can make your own oil lamp. It burns so well. It usually does. money <laughs> wasted. It wasn't wasted if you wasted it. It's for science. Science! There you go. I took a piece of paper and I rolled it up. I made this three years ago. And I've used this three years in a row now, and that paper is still okay. I mean, it's still here because it's not really the paper that's burning so much. The paper is burning, but what is burning? The oil around, the oil around it. it. The paper's not burning so much. What's the really oil. burning? The oil. Can you put like your fingers through it? Ah, you could. I mean, you, you could do that through two most flames, but it's not real. I mean, it's it's warm, but it's not it's not really ridiculously hot. And while this is going, this will go for a little while. Wow, it works pretty well now. Um, you can do this with other stuff. Like, uh, this is some some can brittle. This is sugar. <laughs> this is basically like uh, melted sugar. Can I eat it's it? It's a brittle, like a bubble. That's pretty cool. The yeah, the sugar is bubbling. It's that's kind of a bright light. That's not bad actually. And that one's still going. Right? Ah, that one's really it's like, oh, it's gonna make like a mess. It actually burns a lot better than I thought it would. It's gonna fall. Or is it temperature of sugar? Oh. Oh. Why do you think the cashew burned better than the pretzel? Because the pretzel has salt. Now, what what is it about a cashew that makes it pretty oil. good? Yeah, the oil. Salt. Here is a uh, Frito. That's what we all do. Fritos work really well. Why why are Fritos really good? Very oily. You probably have noticed, like with a Frito, after you're done eating, your fingers all look greasy.